J.R. Smith, life was good. His first NBA title, a sweet family. And then this past September, on his birthday, the best news of all from his wife, Shirley. How did you surprise him and tell him that you were pregnant? I asked the waiter to put the pregnancy test uh, <laughs> on the tray and then surprise him like it was like dessert. Cause you was about to hit the floor. Man. <laughs> I mean, I told her uh, I want as many kids as she'll give me. But when Shirley was barely five months along, the unthinkable happened. I was in pain. Like, every 15 minutes, I was getting what I didn't know at the time were contractions. And I'm like, I think something's wrong. What did they tell you when you get to the hospital? She was like, I'm sorry, sweetheart. This, this baby is going to come. I said, what? When? How? They were scared. I was scared for them. What do you usually tell expectant moms? What's the number of weeks of pregnancy they need to hit? It used to be 24 weeks. When they first came in, Shirley was at 21 weeks. And that is truly where we would have really difficult discussions about how aggressive we are in a resuscitation of a baby. They was asking us if they wanted, to, if she wasn't breathing, if they wanted. Do you want us to resuscitate her? And because yeah. of her being, because she's so, so small, it, like, they didn't. We want to hurt her and... We was like, do what you got to do to save her life, period. They did. On January 2nd, 2017, Dakota Ida Smith was born. She wasn't even one pound, correct? Uh, I could literally hold her in, my, in one hand. Probably she wouldn't even get to hear. Most baby dolls are bigger than her at that point, which is crazy. And their skin is not even skin yet, it's more gel. And I remember the joy getting out of that delivery room because there were concerns and worries that we would never leave and they wouldn't have a baby to take out of the delivery room. Out of the delivery room, but not out of trouble. She had a feeding tube that went down um, her mouth. She was also intubated, so it just went alongside that um, tube. Shirley wasn't able to hold her for the first month she just wasn't stable enough. Sometimes we couldn't even clasp the diapers closed because she was just so fragile. You just have to lay it underneath and open. So this is, oh this God. is the diaper. Yes. And that was too big at one right. point. Too that big. was too big at one point. What do you think when you look at this? Man. <laughs> that she made it. It was tough because um, for a long time she wasn't out of the woods. So it was like every day, it was times that I knew he wanted to break down and just cry and punch a wall, but he didn't. And that allowed me to draw strength from him every day. My wife needs me, my daughter needs me. I, Nothing is more important at this point in my life. Uh, when you see your, your child go through something. <laughs> like most of my life, I've been able to be in control of everything. And something like that, and you have no control and it's your child, and you would obviously do anything for her. And it, it, it hurt. 